This week we are with the great Rabbi Yaakov Avuchtsera of Morocco, and he has something absolutely gorgeous to teach us about the Torah portion of Re'eh. At the very start, we are told, Re'eh Anochi Noten Lifnechem, right? Um, I am uh, uh, presenting before, see, see, I am presenting before you today blessings and curses. Rabbi Yaakov's first question is, why the word Re'eh? Why do we have to say, see, I am presenting before you today? Why not just say, I'm presenting before you today? What is the purpose of the word see? The second question is, why is it in the singular, Re'eh, and not in the plural, Re'u Banai, right? See, my children. And he has something absolutely beautiful to teach us. He says, look at the word Re'eh. Re'eh, it says Re'eh Anuchi. Right? I see, I present. But it's not just see, I present. Anuchi is also a hint, it's a symbol of the Shekhinah. Right? Of the sort of feminine aspect of God that is looking over our world, over our souls, over our spirits. Re'eh Anuchi, see, I present. Together, I, Anuchi, symbolizes the Shekhinah. And Re'eh, if you reverse the words, is Ha'er, to light up. It's almost as if Moses is saying to each and every one of us, you, you, and you, watch. Your actions, if you do something good, there is a blessing and you light up the Shekhinah. You light up this aspect of God that also needs us. Not only vice versa, so do good. And if you don't, it'll be less good. He also looks at the numeric value and he plays a certain gematria game, the numeric, numeric val value of Re'eh, and says, if you look at Re'eh, Resh, Aleph, Hey, it is also the gematria of Shekhinah to teach you that Re'eh also is a symbol of, uh, uh, of the feminine aspect of God. And finally he says, Re'eh Anuchi, Re'eh Anuchi is the numeric value of Rapach, 288. And as we know, this is already, he's bringing in a shtikl Kabbalah from, uh, from Tzfat, from the Lurianic Kabbalah. He says, as we all know, when God created the world, there was this massive rupture, this massive breaking of this vessel, Shvirat Kelim, and 288 sparks flew everywhere. And ever since then, the reason there is an exile, what is our purpose as Jews? What do we need to be doing? We need to go and collect these sparks. And so Moses is telling each and every one of us, you should all know, see, which is the CU, or I'm presenting before you, is hinting you, each and every one of you, should notice that the Shekhinah, the only reason she is exiled and waiting is because all of what we do, when we do good, when we do mitzvahs, there are blessings, we are bringing close to the end of exile because we are collecting more sparks, more nitzotot, and we are, we are fixing the vessel that was, that was smashed, that broke tragically at the very beginning of existence, Thoughts on the Torah portion from the wonderful Rabbi Yaakov Vuchzera. Shabbat Shalom.